need to do is butter the pan. Do not! My God! Frosty killed Kitty! Dude, I told you not to put that fucking hat on Frosty's fucking head! Now, didn't I? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Rocket fucking scientist! What are we supposed to do now? I don't know! Look, I, I read today about a 10-year-old uh, girl with Down syndrome who was taken from her mother and put in a cage. Uh, I read about a, a... Did you say what walk to a 10-year-old with Down syndrome? What did I say that? Theodore, we got her McDonald's. What did you order again? Three Big Macs? How fat are you? You know, me and Simon do everything around the house. You don't do jack All you do is sing. And when you're not singing, you're just fat! You know what, Taylor? You're not eating today. You can starve. Hey guys, what does KYS mean? Kill yourself. What the fuck? He's just asking a question. Why would you tell him to do that? Huh? You're gonna need a barn. But it'll take three of us six months to build. You don't build a barn, dumbass! What do you think this is, 1785? Now we're in it. Dog, dog, dog! Oh, Come here, doggy! Dog! Come here, doggy! Come here, puppy dog! We got damage! Big time damage! Alright! Oh, yeah. This is absolutely incredible. This side of the federal building has been blown off, Jesse. About, about a third. About a third of the building has been blown away. Killer. Quickly, CNN joins an affiliate in Oklahoma City, KFOR, to bring you the latest uh, that they're having live updates on this explosion that's happened at the uh, federal court building in downtown Oklahoma City. We are a block from where the blast occurred, and uh, they are just uh, treating people here on the side of the road about a block away. We have heard reports that there is a daycare center in that building. We're looking at videos of some of the victims. We understand now that we are seeing some pictures of the arrival of some of the children who were in the daycare center located in that building. The people that I talk to say they survived by diving underneath their desk. When you uh, see pictures of what is left of the federal building, it's hard to believe anybody is walking away from this explosion today. It sounded like just one big boom. Really loud. Then there was so much noise from everything falling in, though, you couldn't hear anything else. Everything started going like this, and I, I dove under the desk, and then all the glass came in, and the ceilings came down. And I probably got cut worse if I hadn't been under the desk. I just got little scrapes and scratches. Just the whole back of the building just fell in on us. It was just literally like a big pour. Just all fell in. Everyone along our set of offices had um, back injuries, head injuries, neck, bleeding, glass. The bombing in Oklahoma City was an attack on innocent children and defenseless citizens. It was an act of cowardice, and it was evil. The United States will not tolerate it. This is, it looks like it's a video from Beirut or something. You can see the uh, uh, the wrought iron bars that are used for reinforcement, the rebar just sticking out there. We have a parking lot across the street from the federal building, 
and the cars over there were demolished. And that is a ladder truck from the Oklahoma City Fire Department. It looks like trying to rescue or at least looking for victims inside the Alfred P. Murrow building. And we are now getting word from the Oklahoma City Fire Department that there are people trapped inside the building. They believe they are alive. They are trapped in the rubble. We're talking to victims through void spaces. Uh, people are crying out to us. Uh, we're reassuring them the best we can. We're able to reach through cracks and, and hold people's hands and, uh, and reassure them as best we can. But getting to them is going to take a long time. The debris is gone and the building is no more. Now this is a place of peace and remembrance and life.